What is this thing? It's an asteroid, sir. How big are we talking? Sir, our best estimate is 97.6 billion. It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. Y yes, sir. What kind of damage are we? Damage? A total, sir. It's what we call a global killer. The end of mankind. Armageddon is infamous among scientists for being one of the most scientifically inaccurate films ever produced. Whether that's actually fair is kind of besides the point. There's a lot of mistakes in it, and there's a lot of fun to be found trying to understand where those mistakes come from. Bruce Willis, practically able to see his own house from how close the asteroid is to Earth, finally presses the button on the nuclear bomb sacrificing himself, but also splitting the asteroid into two parts that harmlessly sail either side of the Earth. Yet the problem here is power. The largest nuclear weapon that humanity has ever produced was called the Tsar Bomba, otherwise known as Big Ivan, a 100 megaton behemoth that was actually only detonated with about half that yield. Even if we put everything in the bomb's favor, it still comes woefully short of the energy needed to split the asteroid and send it hurtling off into the distance. An asteroid that is supposedly a thousand kilometers across. If Bruce Willis was going to achieve what he did, he would need a bomb at least a billion times more powerful than the largest nuclear weapon humanity has ever made. 